some time ago, I did a review for the Serotonin Outdoors Firefly Mini Stove, a collapsible titanium wood gas stove. And at that time, the stove that Serotonin Outdoors sent me was one of their pre-production versions. While the final production version is available for sale, and Serotonin Outdoors sent me one of those, along with the accessories that are available for it. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, so when the Firefly Mini Stove arrived from Serotonin Outdoors, I took it out, put it together, and I was struck about how similar it was to the original stove that I reviewed. And there's good reason for it. It hasn't changed. It's the same stove. There's nothing different about the stove itself. It is the accessories that have changed. They've been modified, updated, and now they're much more functional, as I'll show you in a few minutes' time. So a couple of things. One is I'm not going to go through all the specifications or the assembly process. I'm not even going to build a fire in this stove. But, well, a couple of reasons. One, it's not necessary. The other video covers that very well. Also, we're under a fire ban. So I brought it out because of the accessories allow me to use an alcohol stove and a gas a canister stove as well with this and that's again what I want to focus in on. So let's get started with this. So if the stove is the same, what's different? So when you order this stove from Serotonin Outdoors, you'll have a choice between a stainless steel version and a titanium version. They sent me the titanium version and it sells for about $100 US. If you want to opt for the stainless steel version, it runs about $70 US. So I just put that out there right now. Now, the, what you get for your money is this. This entire assembly that I'm showing you now, a little stuff sack, and a set of instructions. That's what you're going to, oh yeah. And there is this little binding strap that kind of holds it all together inside of the pouch if you want to use that. Probably not a bad idea. It just kind of keeps everything in one place. So the stove itself is fully functional is as is, but the options that come that are available for it really do improve upon it. So the thing that's changed the most is the pot stand on top. This is a multifunctional pot stand that allows you to do a number of things with it. When you're using the stove in wood burning mode, it is what sits on top. Let me just throw my kettle on top as you can see. So this represents a kettle or a pot that you might use and it works well enough for that. I had a lot of negative comments to say about the original version of this this is different, and I'll explain it in a minute. But the other thing this allows you to do is use it with a Trangia alcohol stove or something very similar in size. And it also allows you to use it with the gas canister stove adapter as well. So let me just take this off, put the stove body down on the ground, because I also have with me the original stove pot support. And I want to show, be able to show you the difference in the two of them. So maybe the easiest thing to do, and I don't want to mix them up is to take it apart and show you the individual pieces because this was very clever on their part the engineers at serotonin outdoors and it worked very well all right so here is the original one the one that i complained about quite a bit honestly and even then i think they knew they weren't going to be staying with this design but here is what you get you get two longer pieces like that and you get two shorter pieces like this this one has a single slot in it, as does the longer piece. So obviously it would just go together like this and like that. And the other short piece on the other end. So my, here's where I've got to make sure I don't drop it. All right, so my comments at the last time is a couple of things. It felt flimsy. And if I didn't hold it together in my hands, it fell apart like that. The other thing is, yes, it would work for holding the gas canister stove in the two slots. There's the slot there on that side and it's repeated on the other long side. It would not work as a pot stand for the Trangia stove. So this is where the biggest change comes in. Let me just set that one down and I'll show you the other one. So the longer pieces and the shorter pieces of the new version have two sets of slots. And not only do they have two sets of slots, they're also shaped. This is key. Do you see the unique shape, the kind of a, I don't know, juts back out and back and forth? It's that shape that helps to lock this together. So let me assemble this one. I'm going to set it up in Trangia mode first, and because I want to show you what it looks like on top of a Trangia, and then I'll set it up in gas canister mode. So setting it up in Trangia mode, you take the slots furthest out on each of them, and you slide it together like that. Take the other long one, put it in the outside slots again. The 
short one, and I'll put it on the ends of the two long ones. Make sure I get it in the right slots. Have I got it in all the right slots? Yeah, there you go. Okay. It still looks flimsy, but it's not. It's not going to fall apart. It's because of the curvature of those little slots that this is now holding together and not falling apart on it. So that was the biggest complaint I had, is just how finicky it was, how likely it was to fall apart. Now, the other complaint still exists. If you lose one of these, you're kind of out of luck in terms of using it for a pot stand. You need to have all four pieces. Now, that hasn't changed, but they do provide an option that overcomes that. So here's the first benefit, the biggest thing, the difference is, look at the two pot stands. That's where the most significant change is. Now, where is my little transient stove? Let me grab that, put it on the table here. So here's what's cool. I actually just made a, uh, my cup of tea earlier with this, like this. That sits right on top of the trangia. Provides a, well, okay, it's only about three quarters of an inch. It's not quite an inch tall. So it's going to run a little slow compared to an inch and inch and a quarter pot, stand, uh, pot gap. But that, you know, what speed? The speed's not relative here. What is cool, though, is that it's almost perfectly windproof. And the reason being is, is because there's enough ventilation all the way around, maybe I can hold it up and show you that. There's enough ventilation all the way around to allow the, the flame and the, uh, vent, you know, the air to pass through, but not so much that it really is heavily affected by the flame. Let me just set the kettle on top of that because this is exactly the combination I used like that. However, there is one other thing you can do with this setup and this involves using take the original one out of the way here for a moment. This is the base that the stove sets on. It would be all folded up inside of the little stuff sack, but when you open up the legs like this, now it becomes a windscreen. And this is exactly the combination I used this morning to make my, my morning tea when I got out here. And it's nice and light, so it's just providing me a bit more options. Now, okay, so that's option number one. The other option is to set it up as a gas canister stove. I'm going to have to grab my gas canister stove, which comes in a stuff sack. By the way, this is an accessory. Everything I'm showing you from here on in are accessories. You can purchase them if you wish. So here is the gas canister stove. But the first thing I have to do is take this four piece pot stand apart. And again, the slots. Now I'm going to be using the inside slot to make it a little bit smaller. So Start there, inside slot to inside slot. Oh, not like that though. And put the last one on. Actually, I'm gonna to wait to put the last one on and you'll see why. What you have to do now is, can you see the shape of the burner? By the way, look at that burner, isn't that nice? Wide dispersed flame. Good chance you're gonna get some good simmering with this, but it's the rim around the outside that allows you to lock the burner in to the little pot stand here. And now I put the last one on. Inside slot to inside slot. Yeah, it's a little finicky at this point until it's all locked down. And if you don't get it perfectly locked, which did I, what have I done? Oh, I got one of them in the wrong slot. That's the reason why it's not going together. Lay the gas burners down, Mark. Move it over. All right, so I'm back. I'm into the inside slot set all the way around. I haven't tried to see if I can do this, but will it work? Oh, yeah, this will work. Which is just to flex it enough that it holds on like that. All right, so now you can see it's all set up. So let me just grab the stove again, and we'll set it up to go. All right, so here we are with the gas canister stove set into the multi-purpose pot stand on top. Let me see if I can lift it out just to kind of show you. And it just rests on top like it would. The gas feed itself that would attach to the canister, it feeds out this little spot on the end with a little, I don't know what you call it, cover, hole. And yeah, all right, so now that's all there is to it. So there you set up for gas canister mode. And uh, I like using it like this. I mean, it is an addition to the stove, so it's not the primary reason you would use it, but you know, it does give some versatility to the stove is the best way to say it. All right, I'm gonna pull this apart because I wanna show you a couple of other accessories that came from Serotonin Outdoors and how they work with the stove. 
All right, I have a couple of the accessories that Serotonin Outdoors sent me to go with the stove, and they do bump up the versatility, but of course you do have to pay for these accessories. So number one, if you are a fan of using solid fuel tablets, they include or you buy as an accessory this plate. Now, the purpose of this plate would be to sit on top of that multi-purpose pot stand, and then you just drop it down inside, and you're at a good distance from the top of the stove. And then you just set your kettle pot, whatever, right on top of the stove. So there is that. You can see mine's brand new because I'm not a fan of those. But uh, now let's just say you're not a fan of this either. And I can understand it. This is what comes with the stove. It works well enough as a pot stand in wood, ga uh, wood mode. It also works very well, actually, with a Trangia, and it works very well with the gas adapter. But of course, those that's a, another thing you have to purchase. But the one comment I had about using this in the previous video is that uh, beyond the fact that it, my original one was a little finicky and would fall apart, is that I had to wait until the wood, if I had any wood sticks sticking out or anything else, I had to wait until they were down low enough that I could put the stove on top. Now, reality is I didn't have to stuff it that full when I got the stove going. So you can put this on pretty easily when the stove is lit and starting to burn. If you want to wait until it, you know, the fire is well established, even nicer is with this new version. You don't have to, I couldn't have done that with the old one. I'd hold on to one corner and, and reach up and drop it on because it would have fallen apart. So this is better and, you know, greatly, much, greatly improved in that case. And I can move it back and forth. But if you're looking for something that's a little better than this, let me just take that aside. Here is an option that Serotonin came outdoors with, or Serotonin Outdoors came up with and this ladder looking affair is stainless steel and is designed to sit right on top of the stove. Now I have a pot stand that covers the whole length of the stove, gives me the ability to uh, drop sticks inside without taking my pot off and does not block, well let me just put my kettle on top, does not block airflow in any way. So I think that is actually, I think I prefer using this with the wood stove. Not necessary, again, an option you have to buy, but it's there and I think it greatly improves the performance of using this as a wood stove. Another accessory was this grill grate. Now I used the one from the original stove, but I have not used this one yet. And they made a bit of a change to it. And the changes is down in this end. It's not significant, just what it, uh, it ends up meaning is that there are notches now in the ends of the stove that this kind of sets in. The improvement here is the one that I had on the original stove, it would slide all over the place and it was likely to fall off. Now, when you drop that on, it sets there, it's locked in on top of the stove. If you have some good coals, you wanna grill a sausage, maybe a small burger, small piece of meat or whatever, you can do so, it fits on there. So that's another thing that adds to the versatility. I will end up using this, of course, whenever I can have a fire again. And a couple more things that they sent, where is it? This one I showed in the other video, and that is, it's a bellows and barbecue fork at the same time. This is the new one. I don't know why they sent me a new one, but they did. I won't show you that now because of course that's the same as it was in the other video. But this is something kind of cool. And let me just take the top of the stove off of the little table. May not be something you want or see yourself using or needing, but you know the very fact that it's available is kind of cool. I now have a cutting board that happens to fit into that little table just nicely, all right? That's about everything I can show you. All right, let's wrap this video up. All right, a few closing thoughts for the Serotonin Outdoors Firefly Mini Stove. So as I mentioned a few minutes ago, the stove itself has not changed in design. It's just the accessories that have been upgraded, modified, and made more functional, especially the pot stand, the four-piece pot stand. I mean, it, that was the thing I think probably complained about the most in the original video, and it has been improved significantly. Now I can use it as a pot stand for wood-burning mode, I can use it as a pot stand on my Trangia stove, and I can use it as a pot stand with the optional gas burner. So yeah, they've really done their job redesigning that element there. The other accessories, give or, you know, take them or leave them, they're there, they're all useful. They all have, well, I guess it's up to you to, to decide what value they have to you. The performance of the stove is still what I said it was in the original video. It's still very functional and still very good. You just have to manage your expectations around gasification. That's probably the best way to say it. So as I mentioned in the opening as well, that I'll be putting a link to the original video 
in the video description and at the end of this video so that you can go and watch that original review and see how it operates in wood burning mode. All right, I'm going to be giving you the specifications as well as that link I mentioned. Everything else, the links especially, in the video description. But if you have any comments or questions regarding the stove, put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.